And now I will continue with parallel connection. Uh, parallel connection. Connect several resistors, more than one, so that two terminals of the resistors must have two common joints. So each resistor has two terminals. One, two. One, two. I draw only two, but you can continue draw, draw, putting other resistance, three, four, five. Two is enough. Which means uh, left ends must be joined to each other, right ends must be joined one another. After that, left end of this uh, resistance must be connected to the work mid, pardon, uh, um, battery, right end must be connected to the battery. So this combination is called parallel combination. In the previous one, in series combination, two resistors have uh, just single joint, but now two resistors have two joints. And yani both ends are connected to each other. So this combination is called parallel combination. What is parallel combination's property? A potential difference across each resistor equal. Yani, if you say potential difference across first resistor is V1, if you say potential difference across the second resistor is V2, so these two potential difference are equal. V1 and V2 equal. Even they are equal to potential difference of the battery, which is V. Yani V, potential difference of the battery. Say the 10 volt. So what is potential difference of R1, R2? It's 10 volt. What is potential difference of R1? It's also 10 volt. In parallel combination, potential differences are equal. But remember, in series combination, electric currents were equal. This is the difference between them. In series combination, it, electric currents were equal, but now potential differences are equal. So this is a big difference between series and parallel combination. Second property, if potential differences are equal, I can use Ohm's law. I know that according to Ohm's law, V is equal to I times R. So instead of V, I'm going to write I multiplication of I and R. V1, I will write for V1, I1 times R1. I will write V2, I2 times R2. So multiplication of I1 and R2 and I2 and I1 and R1 and I2 and R2 are equal to each other. So these multiplications are equal. What does it mean? Uh, this, if these multiplications are equal, so it must be a constant number. It's a constant number. If it is constant. So this tells you that electric current and resistance are inversely proportional. If resistors, resistance increases in a, a circuit, what does it mean? Electric current decreases. Yani, assume that here we have two resistance. Say that R1 is greater than R2. If R1 is greater than R2, but electric current must be opposite. I1 must be less than R2. So two things you have to know in here. If resistor one in this circuit, let me show the circuit clean again. If resistor one in this circuit is greater than resistor two, so electric one, electric current one on the resistor one must be less than electric current two on the resistor two. Inverse to proportional. Greater resistor, smaller current. Smaller resistor, greater current. Yani if R1 is less than R2, I1 must be greater than I2. This makes sense because resistance is opposition to the electric current. If there is a big resistance, resistance, what does it mean? Electric current will be smaller, of course, because there is a big opposition, which means big opposition. Electric current and uh, resistance in a parallel combination are inversely proportional. And now let's do an exercise about this two. In this circuit, two resistors are connected in parallel. Six ohm is the first one. 3 ohm is the second one. They are connected to a battery. If electric current on resistor 1 is 4 ampere, so I will show that I1 is 4 ampere. How much is the electric current on R2? What is I2? 
So again, I'm going to use the equivalent of the potential differences. V1 is equal to V2, okay? Let me write V1 in terms of Ohm's law. I1 times R1. Let me write V2 in terms of Ohm's law. I2 times R2. After that, insert the numbers. I1, how much is I1? It's given as four. How much is I1? It's given as six. How much is I2? It is the question. How much is R2? R2 is three. So to get I2, I should simplify three, divide by three, divide by three. So six times four, 24 divided by three, eight. Result is going to be eight. Yani I2 is going to be eight ampere. So let's try it in here, eight ampere. So according to the explanation, is it correct? Yes. Six ohm is greater than three ohm, but four ohm is less than eight ohm. Part four ampere is less than eight ampere. So which means greater resistor has a smaller current, smaller resistor has a greater, even their ratios are the same. How many times resistance is greater? Electric current is smaller by the, by the same factor in parallel combination. Okay, and third characteristic. Third characteristic of parallel circuit is this. Electric current on resistor one, say that I1. Electric current on resistor say, say that I2. So these two electric currents are coming from the battery. Yeah, the battery is supplying an electric current. This electric current goes into two resistors. One part of the electric current goes to the first resistor. Other part of the electric current goes to the second resistor. So if I say total current supplied by the battery is I, it must be equal to electric current one plus electric current two. It's just like a water. If water coming from a source is say the 10, if part four, five goes here and the other five goes there, similar. It's electric current flow and water flow are very similar. Yeah, in parallel circuits, if you add the electric current on each resistor, you will get the electric current supplied to the circuit by the battery. So now let's apply this to the that problem. If electric current on resistor one is four ampere, okay, say that I1 is four ampere. So what is electric current supplied by the battery? Ha, this time battery's electric current is asked to you. Okay, to calculate, Battery's electric current, I have to calculate I2 first. We did this before, uh, the previous one. So if the resistor, again, let's apply equation, much better with the equation, V1 and V2 are equal. So V1 is I1 times R1. V2 is I2 times R2 in parallel combination. I1 is four, I2 is six, R2, uh, R1 is six, I2 is the question. R2 is given as three. So simplify three, divide by three. So it's going to be, I2 is going to be eight ampere. So if I2 is eight ampere, what does it mean? This I supplied by the battery is going to be I1 plus I2. I1 is four, I2 is eight. Add them, electric current supplied by the battery is going to be four plus eight, which is going to be 12. Last characteristic, equivalent resistance of the circuit. Again, these two resistors can be represented by a single resistor. So-called equivalent resistance of the circuit are equivalent. So how can I calculate equivalent resistance of the circuit? It is a um, flipped version of the series combination. In series, equivalent resistance was like this. One over, pardon, R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. But in here, R equivalent is like this. One over R equivalent is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3 and so on. So let's apply the equivalent resistance of this circuit. So one over R equivalent equals, how much is R1? Six. One over six plus, how much is R2? Three. One over three. Okay. Make them equal in denominator. Multiply here is one, multiply here is two. So it's going to be one over, over six plus two over six. So add the numerators, one plus two, three over six. 
So 1 over R equivalent is equal to 3 over 6. But the question is R equivalent. This is 1 over R equivalent. Flip both sides. Flip them. Then R equivalent becomes 6 over 3. Uh, 6 over 3 is how much? 2 ohm. So then equivalent resistance of this circuit is going to be 2 ohm. Maybe you observed something. In parallel combination, equivalent resistance decreases. One resistor is 4 ohm, 6 ohm, other resistor is 3 ohm, but equivalent is less than both of them. 2 is less than 3, 2 is less than 4. Yeah, if you want to decrease the uh, resistance in a circuit, you should connect those resistors in parallel. But in series, it's not like this. In series, when we add them all, equivalent resistance is always greater than individual resistance. This is the difference between the series combination uh, one of the difference uh, between the series combination and parallel combination. Okay, this is all about of them. Now I will just solve a problem. After that, I will finish the course. If you don't have a question, here two resistors are given third ohm and four sixth ohm. As you see, they are connected in parallel. How can I understand? There are two joints, so both ends of the con resistors are connected to each other. So this is a parallel combination. Calculate equivalent resistance of the circuit. I know how to calculate it. 1 over R equivalent is going to be 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. So let's try the numbers. 1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over R1. R1 is 30. R2 is 60. So I make the denominator equal to, multiply here to his 1. So it's going to be 2 plus 1, 3 over 60. Okay, 1 over R equivalent is 3 over 60, but I need to get equivalent. Flip both sides. R equivalent is going to be 60 over 3. Result is 20 ohm. This is uh, R equivalent. And I did part A. Part B. What are the potential difference and electric current across each resistor? Potential differences are equal because I know that but whatever the potential difference of the battery is, each resistor will have the same potential difference. So potential difference in here is going to be 12 volt. Potential difference across R1 is going to be again 12 volt. And the potential differences are equal in parallel combination. And that's why I will say that V1 is equal to 12 volt, V2 is equal to 12 volt, which is equal to battery's potential difference 12 volt. And what are the electric current on each resistor? Use Ohm's law. I1 is equal to V1 over R1. Okay, let's calculate it. Uh, V1 is 12 volt. R1 is how much? 30. 12 over 30. And yeah, it's going to be, well, I think, uh, 12 over 30, 0.4 ampere. So what about I2? I2 is equal to V2 over R2. So, how much is V2? Same as I, V1. 12. How much is R2? Which is 60. 12 over 60. It's going to be 0.2 ampere. So, resistor uh, 1 has an electric current of 0.4 ampere. Resistor 2 has an electric current of 0.2 ampere. What about electric current supplied to the circuit by the battery? C. So, I know what I1 is. I know what I2 is. So, I must be some of them. I is equal to I1 plus I2. Okay, I1 is how much? 0.4. I2 is how much we calculated? 0.2. Sum of them is going to be 0.6 ampere.